guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 7 and 8 of Love, Chino Boyo, and Other Delusions, so let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, I know that from. It's a cute dress. <laughs> Don't be mean, Chinka. <laughs> oh, look at your hair! It's curly. You look so good. <laughs> I mean sunglasses. <laughs> oh, there she is. But I mean, besides you and the blackmail and it's but like, really, like, why do you? Does Utah have to hang out with Rika this summer? I mean, is she going to do something that she's going to regret or something? I mean, who knows? But it's going to be an interesting summer episode with these group of kids. <laughs> oh, God. Cumin going to sleep all day watch. <laughs> Look at her. I'm gonna sleep in the opening and in the ending and in the entire episode. Then she's gonna be like, hmm, "What did human do today?" And you're like, <laughs> "Hi, hey, puppy." Okay, you go play. Go play. No, don't, don't. <laughs> really? Oh my god, you were some Western Race from Kaon. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you two would be the best of friends. Mm, you're right about that. So she's got to be in your care. <laughs> oh. Just look at the ground. The ground doesn't move. Oh my god. East key. Stop looking at Cuban. They told you she was sleeping. Can't always be the perv of the group. So where's Rika? Oh, there she is. Human.
Yeah, because we kind of need to know the reason why we're hanging out with you this summer. Yeah. Yeah, no <laughs> Damn. I don't really think so. <laughs> I love her VA so much. Like, oh my god. My wrong goal. My shadow. Really? I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, just watch. Oh, she kind of like, what's her face from, um, Hayoka. <laughs> Poor Sane. Like, oh my god, please, like, get her, get her into a chair, have her crouch her head down, just, mm. Well, you have to be polite. I mean, you're coming into somebody else's house. Hi, Bubby. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> It's not, I, I don't want to say a police scanner, but it looks very similar to one of those, you know, that you can have in the car and listen to conversations or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, come on, Rika, let's go to the beach. Can't go to the beach now, though. They gotta live through anime. 
I mean, I would think human would have color. Oh, I hate that feeling about going to the beach. Hot sand. <laughs> of course she's asleep. No, Bobby. What did you give him? From the store? <laughs> no, she gave him a piece of paper! Oh my god. I love you too. Love yes. Nanny. You know what? I, I, okay. I'm not going to assume, but I thought that maybe her parents were dead. I don't know. Because uh, something wasn't right. Oh, you poor baby. Why didn't you put tanning lotion on? Oh, that's Thank you, man. Ooh. God. Does she even know what the hell though? Mm. Okay, but then what about your mom? Mm. So she gets the advantage too. Stop, I'm gonna cry. No, you feel so bad for her. Oh my god, that looks so good. I had chips and I'm hungry. <laughs> you know, maybe Toka should just like. Make bentos for everyone. <laughs> oh my god, she's so cute. <laughs> well, 
Yeah. But just eat it. Oh my god. No, not from. Oh my lord, Sonny. I mean, you could have put it on your plate and. <laughs> it's complicated. The Lotion of Britannia. <laughs> I'm sorry! Just went up on her. It's really good. It's gonna be okay. Oh my god. It was already his idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, you know, poor Yusa, in another life, when he was Joker, it, it didn't really follow him in this series. But you know what? That's okay. He's trying. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my. Thanks for making me cry. Oh my god. Like, even if it was a sweet little simple moment between these two, it's just so cute. Mm -hmm. This girl got her heelys on. <laughs> The <laughs> she goes back. I can't. It's worse for Sarnay as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Like his ghost? Yeah. 
Yeah, if they don't become a couple at the end of the series, like, mm. <laughs> I mean, I'm still pissed at Hayoka, you know, with that ending and how those two didn't become a couple because I really wanted them to become a couple. Not there, is It's okay to cry. Oh, honey. You're so mean. Come on. It was getting so good. I really thought that, you know, Toka and Rinko would have had a heart to heart moment. And that still, she would have been in her, you know, seventh grade shenanigans way. But still, I think she would have been like, I can move on from this knowing that, yes, my father isn't here anymore. And that. The things that I had as a kid are gone and they're never really going to come back. But yeah, as I said, you know, Utah and Rika, they make the cutest couple. Just like freaking um, Hattori and uh, what the heck was that girl's name? Freaking Ayoga. <laughs> With her freaking glitter eyes that I love so much. Like, oh my God. The ish in that series was is it so. Karen? No, it wasn't Karen. Karen. <laughs> um, but oh my god, I just I want these two to get together, and I mean, their the relationship that Yuta and Rika have is a very interesting one. I mean, yes, we all know that Yuta likes Shinka, and but the chemistry that these two have is just so much better than Yuta and Shinka's chemistry in my opinion i mean it's just like it's a damn good one i'm just saying that's just me i mean because they look cute together <laughs> but i mean i'm glad that toko uh toka i'm about to say toko fukawa um toka was able to take you to to um her parent uh, her dad's grave or really the family grave and to know that yeah he is dead i was assuming that like both of their parents had died Maybe in, like, a tragic accident or something. I wasn't thinking that, like, one of them would have been sick and the other one would have left them with um, their dad's parents. And so, who knows what she could be doing as of now. And so, in a way, Reika kind of just, like, let that and everything really go in the back of her mind. Like, oh, my father's still, um, still alive and it's like that. She kind of reminds me of... Um, I don't know. What is your name? What is your name? I don't remember her name. Um, it's the girl with the pink hair from not zombie. It's not zombie. School Live. There we go. That girl. Um, who thinks that the school is still normal and you know because she didn't find out that the zombie apocalypse happened because she thinks that it's all in her mind and that everyone's still alive, but it's just her and then the other three girls plus the dog. And ish, and that happens. If you haven't seen that show, you know, be mindful because that show is cute as heck. But you know, the ish that happens in that show. But I mean, I think almost everybody has seen that show. But it's a really good show, and I love it like so freaking much. Even though like it made me 
cry like a dang baby, especially with the fact, the part with the dog. And I mean, I ain't going to talk about it, but if you've seen it, you know what I mean about the dog and how I feel about animals and stuff and how I love them so much. And it really hurt me and stuff. But I mean, I do feel bad for Rika. She's one of those characters that I didn't really think would have had like one of those backstories, but typically, um, with every Kill Annie show that I've seen, we usually, eventually, before either season one or season two ends, we do find out a little more of their backstory, and then there's a moment where it's like, hey, you're gonna cry. Was I expecting to cry today? No. Not even at a moment with Yuta and Rika, like, just having something, like, a cute, not really even a saddened moment, just a moment where he's like, yeah, I'm gonna, let let me take you, let's go. It's just something about that just made me, like, tear up and just thinking that it was a nice gesture I don't know but then also seeing her cry it makes you cry inside and you just feel so sad for this girl and how she has the you know the eighth grade syndrome because you know of this is that and the third it's so many unanswered questions with her but I still love her at the end of the day she's just so freaking cute and adorable and I'm just like oh my god like you precious baby and then <laughs> cumin didn't I tell you cumin would have fallen asleep in this episode what happened cumin fell asleep <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for episode eight Alrighty, episode eight and three two one go nope i gotta do it again take two in three two one go there we go She needed that though. There was a fire. It's just me and your sister. I'm about to cry again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Stop, please. Like, mm -mm. I can't. Nope, nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh my god. 
do not do this. I can't cry at like three minutes into the episode. No. Jesus Christ. I can't stop. I'm about to. I'm tearing up again. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm crying now. This is her way of coping and moving on from it. Should be anywhere. Okay, thank God. Who <laughs> <laughs> trips on their own air? Oh, that is straight up Cody. <laughs> you throw something like, here, Cody, go get it. And my dog Cody just looks like, what you want me to do? Like, oh, I don't understand this much. Uh. No, oh my god, Sunny, no. This isn't right. Oh my god. And then you give me a song and you're gonna make me cry again. I'll do it.
Even a cute woman makes me cry every time. God, they were so freaking my and suck and like, like oh, I love them. It's like, oh my I came and I love you. <laughs> I just know what it is. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, they really fucking well. Oh, my Basically. It's safe, Oliver. You too. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you could be a gentleman and let her sleep in your room, and you can sleep out in the living room, or you both could just sleep out in the living room together. <laughs> Human. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh, God. <laughs> Rebecca. She's nerdy, just like you. <laughs> Lies. It, it goes with the claw. Somebody was definitely doing her persona five minutes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> And then bang. Perfect. Almost like a grappling hook in some way. Play Persona 5 R. <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> Yeah, because you don't like it. We're really good, though. Well, yeah, because convenience stores are the only things that are open around this hour, right? It's 
like you're on a date. Imagine like one summer night you walk in with your boyfriend going to the convenience store. You come home, we need to know. Oh, you got inspired because of him, of course. I mean, it's so obvious. Where do you want to go? Yes. Do you know the muffin? I don't. I don't think they know the muffin man. You realize not what dear something lame. <laughs> That's random though, but they. <laughs> we not gonna talk about L and his diabetic death. Like no, that his this show has nothing to do with that. But that other story we was watching the other day with Shin Yang. Y'all people had the Shin Oh my god, mommy. Dong and Ropa had nothing to do with Death Note. But I kind of liked it. Okay, we'll watch the other ones later. Okay. Do you know the Muffin Man? Yes, okay. I know the Muffin Man. Everybody knows the Muffin Man. Okay. Okay. Um, Give me left your ass. <laughs> you never know. She could. Come on. Hmm. My shipping heart right now. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm minding my business. Do you know where that um extension cord is, mommy? For like. I'm using it. You need it. Yeah. Okay. Cody, get the extension cord. She's not pissed off.
She's not gonna kiss you. Hmm? Oh. To protect you. Like where? You, you want it like on your chest? You want it on your pecs? Your abs? Your neck? Your leg? <laughs> How can you not shift these two? Oh my god. Oh She knows the concept of love. Oh my God, she's so cute. Come on now. I mean, you had too many shipping moments with these two, and they look so freaking cute together. Like, you cannot tell me that they're not going to get together by the end of the series going on to the freaking movie. I don't know. I mean, it would be nice. They look freaking cute together. You cannot deny the chemistry that they have. Come on now. I mean, mm. she like, she best girl. I'm sorry. Like, mm, we, we going into the Wafu territory, but like, oh. Just the chemistry between these two are just so freaking good, and I just can't because, you know, it's someone with an eighth grade syndrome, and then, you know, well, they both had it, but one grew out of it. But the fact that he can still relate to her still, it's still, oh my god, I can't. It's cute. They're so cute. I can't. Like, come on. You can't do that to me. Like, mm. come on. Just let them get together. That's it. That's all you gotta do. End the show with them together. I mean, but yeah, they literally left their friends at her grandparents' house and just came back home. I mean, but it was a nice episode to just really let Yuta and Rekha be the focus and to be that main focus. And you're just like, oh my god, keep together. I am sorry. Like, if they don't get together, I'm going to be pissed. Like I, like I said, I'm still pissed about Hayoka and those two characters. Not even two. The four characters, four main characters who did not get together by the end of the dang series. I'm thinking, like, okay, you know, that last episode finally, you know, <laughs> ignited the feelings that Hotaro has feelings for What's Her Face from Hayoka. And we already knew the situation of the other two. And the Valentine's Day episode where he stole her chocolates and it's like that. I mean, that's a spoiler from Hayoka if you haven't seen that, but I'm just saying that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But still, till today, <laughs> even with watching Hayoka newly and watching this and seeing the chemistry between these two and the characters of Hayoka, you can't help but think like, oh my God, like, look, the, look at these all romantic moments or even just regular moments and it's like that of this them being together them like eating dinner together it was like a date it was so cute and i loved it like oh my god like ah i can't like please just let them get together 
if you couldn't let <laughs> Hotano and What's a Face from How You Will Get to Get Together, please let these two get together. I mean, I just, I want it. I need it. I need it. Please just like put it in my hands right there. You can give me some fan fiction on it. I don't care if it's like this. Mm. Put it in my hands. That's all I want right there in the palm of my hand. The couple. The <laughs> Let me have my moment, please. Like, it was just so cute. I mean, it was a little, like, interesting of her, like, sniffing his shirt and saying it smells of him. But it's cute. Like, oh my god. I mean, come on now. Every, like, anime boy or anime girl in an anime has, like, done something that's weird, but it's still cute in a way. It's not, it's like the borderline of, is this really cute or is this really creepy? And so she goes into the in-between stuff, but that's okay. Like, everybody does it. It's like, it's cute. You know, when you're laying with your significant other and then they got to go to work and then you take their pillow and you cuddle with it and it smells like him or her and you just feel more happier and calm and you're able to go back to sleep. Like, yeah, y'all get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> it's okay if you don't, but still, like, just think about it, really. Watch, the, there's been TV shows that have done it. There's been books that have done it, movies that have done it where people feel more relax and everything by like sniffing people's clothes. I don't know what I mean. You could have been wearing some nice behind cologne. But like I said, both of these episodes are really, really good. I'm glad that we got to learn more about Rika's and Toka's past because ever since I started this show, I had so many questions about both of them. And to now get these answers, it makes you wonder like what else is in store for the rest of the series of season one going on into season two. What in the world is the movie going to have in store? I mean... I feel like this series is going to be like k on <laughs> where um, when I got to the movie and it was just like, okay, them going to London and just showing the exact same ending that they showed in the not um, last episode, but before the extra episodes came in of saying goodbye to my best girl, Azanya. And I feel like there's going to be somewhat of a connection where whatever ends with season two, they're going to bring that back in the movie. And then I'm probably just going to be a hot mess and cry again, because every single time till this day, if I hear the song that they sang for Azanya, I just bust out crying because that's like the best song and it's just so good. And you can't help but cry because it's such a damn good series. I mean, anything by Kyoto Animation is gonna spark and just, oh, I can't. Like, come on, I don't wanna cry again. You made me cry, like, what, three times? Three times in two episodes? Oh my god, it just, mmm. Mmm. Gorgeous. <laughs> Phenomenal. Beautiful. Love it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 and 8 of Love, Chino Boyo, and Other Delusions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. Bye, guys.